Hi, James with the OneHourSmartHome.com and today we are going to review a light switch wiring diagram for you. We're just going to show you how a light switch is wired up and the wiring associated with that. So if you were remodeling your home and you want to do wire in a light switch, we're going to show you how you would do that. So what we've got here is, uh, you know, the electrical panel, the light switch itself and junction box and the light fixture and light bulb. And uh, I've put a color code over here. So the blue wire is the neutral, the green wire is the ground and the black wire is the hot. So uh, the first thing that you're gonna have when you are wiring up a light switch is you're gonna have an electrical panel and from that electrical panel, uh, you're gonna have three wires that are gonna come through it or come from it. You're gonna have a hot wire that carries the electricity. You're gonna have a ground wire which offers grounding protection uh, for devices so that it reduces the risk of electrical shock. And you're gonna have a white wire. It's represented as blue because I can't draw white on a white board, you wouldn't be able to see it. And that blue wire is the neutral wire. And the neutral is the return path for current in an electrical system. So hot provides current, the blue is the return path for current and the green wire, the ground, that is for your safety and protection. So from the electrical panel, uh, you've got these three wires going in and they're gonna go into what's called a junction box. A junction box is where your light switches are located, your outlets are located. It's either a metallic or metal junction box in the wall or a plastic junction box uh, in the wall. It depends where you live, different areas have different codes on what will be used, but the junction box is what houses the light switch or electrical device. And inside that, you're going to have the light switch. So typically on the light switch, you're gonna have uh, some terminals on the side of it. And those terminals are where you would wire in the hot wire uh, and the hot or load wire, uh, which is going out to the fixture. On the bottom or the top of the light switch, you're typically gonna have a green screw and that green screw is going to be for the ground wire. That's just to protect uh, from electrical malfunctions and that's gonna be on the light switch as well. Now the last wire, the blue wire, unless you have a smart light switch, the neutral wire, you will not have a neutral wire typically connected to a light switch. It's just gonna go in the junction box through and up to the light fixture if you have a newer home. In older homes, sometimes the neutral wire wasn't run through the electrical switch box or the junction box. It was wired you know, just through the wall and back to the electrical panel. But in newer homes, like after 1985, typically you're gonna see a white wire in that junction box and that is a neutral wire. And unless you have a smart light switch, which we've got other videos on that and we'll include them below, you will not have a neutral wire connected to the light switch. So what we've got here then is the hot goes into one terminal on the light switch and the hot or load wire is technically what it's called, uh, which is the hot wire that goes from the light switch to the load or the light fixture. This is the electrical load on the system. So when you're talking about electricity, the hot wire is what comes in and is providing current and is live with electricity all the time. The load wire is a wire that is not always hot. It doesn't always have electrical current going through it. It only has electrical current going through it when the switch closes and then the electrical current can flow through the switch up to this uh, light fixture through the load wire or also a hot wire because it does become hot once the light switch is closed. And then it goes to the light bulb. The light from the light bulb is emitted and comes back down this blue wire, the neutral wire, which would be white inside your walls. Um, and that would go back down and through to the electrical circuit breaker or electrical panel back here. And the green wire, as you can see, we've got it from the circuit breaker. It's usually gonna be grounded somewhere on the light switch. And then you're gonna have it grounded again on the light fixture. Usually the body of the light fixture is gonna have another one of those green terminal screws to ground the light fixture. So you always wanna add a ground wire when possible and per electrical code in your local municipality or area. But that is the basic light switch wiring diagram. Now, a lot of people say, well, uh, you know, sometimes I don't see a ground wire um, inside of your electrical circuit. And there's a reason for that in some areas. If you have conduit, the conduit acts like a ground. Now you still have to have a way that that light switch is grounded to the conduit because if there were a, you know, break in that conduit or discontinuous way, 
um, that that conduit wasn't connected and grounded back to the panel, you could have an issue. But the uh, ground typically, when you have a conduit system, is the conduit itself because it is metallic and it's going to conduct current back to the grounding bar in the electrical panel. So just another little thing there. But if you have plastic junction boxes in your wall and you've got a non-metallic cable, which is a plasticized cable that is going around two, three, four, five conductors, whatever number of conductors you have in your wire, that does always need to be grounded. You need a path for that current to go back and it needs to be grounded with a electrical wire. So a either non-shielded wire, a bare copper wire, or sometimes they're insulated and they're green wires. Um, and those are going to go back to the electrical panel to the grounding uh, bus. So that is how you wire a light switch. That is the light switch wire wiring grain, gr diagram. That is the basic way that a light switch is wired up. Now I'll give you a little bonus here um, and just show you kind of how like if you had multiple lights wired, how you would wire that together. So uh, I'm just going to draw another light fixture over here, like so. And if you had a, another light fixture in a row, you wanna wire the lights typically in what's called parallel. And what that allows you to do is that each light will have a continuous circuit to it so that if one light bulb goes out, you won't have the next light down the road go out, which is what happens if you wire in series um, light fixtures. So parallel is what we call it when you wire them so that they are in a continuous parallel circuit. And how that would look is you'd have this neutral wire here, um, you know, inside the junction box for the light fixture, you'd connect another neutral wire or wire nut it or whatever you needed to do. And it would go over to this light fixture and connect to the neutral terminal. And this hot wire in this light fixture slash junction box, you're gonna have a hot wire or load wire connect um, to that light fixture and then to the new light fixture, okay? And then of course, we can't forget about our ground wire. So you would then have your ground wire um, come over here and terminate on the ground screw that would be on the light fixture. But this is what's called parallel wiring for light fixtures and light bulbs so that if this light bulb goes out, this one also won't go out. Only this light bulb would be dead because there is still a continuous path of current that can go through here to this light bulb and then back down this neutral wire. When you have something wired in series, what you would have is something that would look like this. Let me go back here. And instead of, got to get all the right markers here. And this is going to get a little bit messy. So, um, all right. So you'd still have the ground wire when you've got something connected in series. But what you would have, instead of connecting to the hot wire down there, we would have no neutral here. We'll just erase all of this here. Okay. What you would have is a hot wire that connects to this light fixture here. Okay. And then from there, instead of having the neutral wire that goes back to the electrical panel, you would just have a hot wire or load wire that goes through to this next light switch, okay? And then, or to this next light fixture. And we'll draw it so it goes down here. To this next light fixture. And you would then have the neutral wire, which goes back down to the original neutral wire here. And you would have the ground wire obviously connected here and the ground wire connected here. And what happens then is that uh, if this light bulb goes out, since this is just one continuous wire going from one to the other and the neutral wire is here, let's say we cut this no longer and that, that just cutting that represents that this light bulb is out or uh, discontinued. 
what happens then is that there is no path any longer for electrical current to get to this light bulb. It is cut. So if this light fixture goes out, this light bulb goes out, there is no way for electrical current to get to this one. So this one will then go out if you've got it wired in series. And that's the reason that you want to wire light bulbs in parallel versus, or light fixtures in parallel versus series. So hopefully that explains your question. Uh, we appreciate you watching this video. Please like and subscribe. Put any questions down below and we will try and get to those. Thank you.